Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's edition of The Porch. As we gather together, I want to welcome all of those that are coming on Facebook Live, those that are coming on Clubhouse, of course, the members of Crusaders Church, Impact University, 5-4 Ministry Academy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in today as we continue our series on beauty. Beauty for Ashes, Isaiah 61 and 3 what beauty represents. Today, we're going to talk about favor in relationship to beauty. I think it's going to be an eye-opening message. So get ready, uh, share the broadcast, especially if you're coming on uh, Facebook Live, please share the broadcast and be a part um, of today's teaching or sharing. Get more people involved in this teaching. I believe that it will be a blessing unto those who hear it. I want to encourage, I want to inspire, I want to give revelation concerning some really a powerful verse of scripture today is Psalms 90 and verse 7. We're going to look at that verse today, Psalms 90 and verse 7. So look it up, refer to it, we're going to look at some different translations of it, and it should be a, a, a great, great message. Don't forget, tonight will be the final night of the Right With Me Challenge, the third night. And it's free of charge if you want to be a part of it. If you've not yet registered, go to finishthebooks.com. Finishthebooks.com. We're targeting writers, authors, new writers, experienced writers, those who want to improve uh, in your ability to write and produce good books that will be a blessing to your generation. Tonight will be the final night of a three-day challenge called... Um, from idea to bestseller, from idea to bestseller. And we're, we're making some things available as well, some resources available as well for those who tune in and watch. So that's tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, don't forget, I'll be at Crusaders Church Saturday or Friday. First of all, Friday evening, I'll be at Griff, in Griff, Griffith, Georgia, Griffith, Georgia, outside of Atlanta. And um, that advertisement is on my Facebook page. If you're in the Griffith area, uh, come and be a part of that service. I'll be ministering Friday night and then Saturday afternoon, I'll be back in Chicago for our 2 p.m. service. We're still teaching on beauty for ashes. I'm handing out these beautiful pictures that represent beauty for ashes, a beautiful turban, a beautiful crown, a beautiful headdress for ashes. That's 2 p.m., Saturday, 3821 South Michigan, Saturday at 2 p.m. Also, if you have not had a chance to sow a 111 seed, I'm still decreeing Deuteronomy 111, the Lord make you a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more. We're using the number 111 to just release our faith in Deuteronomy 111, a thousand times more. And many have been giving seats of 111. Some have been giving seats of 1111. Many have been giving even seats of $1.11. Uh, I challenged yesterday 20 people to sow a seat of $111. We didn't quite get 20. We, we got some, but I still want to challenge you in that area. At least get up to 20 people to sow a $111 seed. And really believe God as I decree favor, grace, blessing, multiplication, increase abundance over your life. You can go to the giving addresses, cash app at AJE Global, AJE Global, and PayPal at Apostle JE, the number one. Again, PayPal is at Apostle JE, the number one. PayPal.me uh, slash Apostle JE, the number one. Or you can give it Zale at E C K H J O H. In at gmail.com. Um, I bless you as you sow. I want to thank all of those who have sown this month, partnered with me in what I'm doing worldwide in ministry. We're getting back into doing our projects overseas uh, to the poor, to those with no clean water, to street children, different nations we're working with. We haven't been able to do as much recently, but we want to get back to doing that. So please consider sowing a large seed if you want to be a part of that. Blessing the poor. Uh, Psalms 41 talks about the blessing that comes upon those who give to the poor. And I speak that over your lives 
And I thank all of those who have given. I appreciate it so much. You can also give through the stars, which is next to the heart and like button on Facebook Live. Or you can click on the business card in Clubhouse and see all the giving addresses. You can give even through Clubhouse as well. And as you give, I decree Deuteronomy 111. I decree Philippians 419. I decree Ephesians 320. I decree Psalm 66 and 12, Proverbs 10, 22, Isaiah 54 and 3, Psalms 112, verse 3, Psalms 115, verse 14, Psalms 118, verse 25. Uh, I decree Isaiah 48, 17 over your lives. I decree uh, Psalms 18 and verse 19. I decree this verse we're going to speak today, Psalms 90 and 17. May the beauty and favor of God be upon you and may God establish the work of your hands. Psalms 19, 90 and verse 17. May the beauty of favor of God be upon you and may God establish the work of your hands. One more time, may the beauty, favor of God be upon you and may God establish the work of your hands. We're gonna talk about that today. So you see, I decree quantum, increase of your business, your ministry, your accounts, and everything you set your hands to do, I decree it over your life now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Well, thank you so much for your seed, for your sowing, for viewing us today on, as we continue on the porch. Um, I'm going to talk some about favor again. Uh, this book is the newest book I've written, uh, newest book published by Charisma. It's called, it's called Prayers That Unlock Favor. Prayers That Unlock Favor. If you don't have a copy, order one today. You can go to christianbook.com or amazon.com. It has, quite, it has some, uh, quite a number of prayers and confessions on the favor of God, which is one of my favorite subjects. I've written another book called Ridiculous Favor that is also available on amazon.com. I believe that book is behind me. There it is right there. Ridiculous Favor. Those two books, uh, I recommend that you get, read, really get a revelation of the favor of God. I'm writing a new book called The 52 Kinds of People That God Favors. That should be out shortly. We've been working on it, getting it printed now, getting the book cover finished. It's been finished a while, but the 52, uh, it probably more, but I, I, I noticed 52 kinds of people that God favors. That's going to be coming out very shortly as well. Um, also, the, I've written a book, uh, a book called Riches, Glory, and Honor. And that is available along with the webinar that we have done. If you missed the webinar we did a while ago on riches, honor, and life, you can get both the book and the webinar. If you know, if you already looked at the webinar, I taught on riches, honor, and life. I didn't have a book then. It's a new ebook. Uh, go to jebiblestudy.com, jebiblestudy.com, and um, get that verse, Proverbs twenty-two and four. By humility and the fear of the Lord come riches and honor and life. One of my favorite verses. I have, I have a number of favorite verses. I love that one. By humility. And the fear of the Lord come riches, honor, and life. Who would not want to have riches, honor, respect, and life? Jesus came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Well, humility and the fear of the Lord are key elements of having riches, which is wealth, prosperity, honor, which is promotion, respect, and life. And that's an ebook that I've, I've just written a, a, a few, maybe a month ago. I uh, haven't had a chance to talk about it much, but go to jebiblestudy.com and you can take advantage of that offer as well. I know we're offering a lot. I have a lot of resources that I've developed over the years, books, videos. Uh, many of them are free. You can watch them on YouTube. Um, you can, of course, take our, few, our free webinars, uh, challenges that we do, uh, but some of these resources uh, just for a small donation, you can have them and own them and really learn and grow from them. So thank you so much for your support, your seed. And um, I decree favor, grace, blessing, and multiplication. You can sow anytime during the broadcast or if you're watching the replay, sow it today. Now I'm going to look at a verse of scripture 
This verse, Psalms 90 and verse 17, it says, it, it's a prayer. Let the beauty of the Lord be upon us and establish the work of our hands. Uh, it's an amazing verse. It's an amazing prayer. One that I would encourage you to incorporate in your prayer. It, it's a tremendous confession that the beauty of the Lord is upon me and God establishes the work of my hands. Again, the beauty of the Lord is upon me and God will establish the work of my hands. One more time, the beauty of the Lord is upon me and God will establish the work of my hands. Who would not want that? Uh, and this term beauty, uh, I encourage you to do a word study on beauty in scripture. It's an amazing word. In Psalms 27, David says, one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord. So beauty is God's glory, God's majesty, uh, beauty for ashes. Isaiah 61 and three represents deliverance and restoration from shame, defeat, sorrow, sadness, gloom, depression into victory into joy, into gladness, but it also means a transfer or transfiguration or change into favor. If you look up different translations, let me read some of them for you of this verse of, uh, again, Psalms 90 and verse 17. Um, it says in the Amplified, let the gracious favor of the Lord our God be on us. So beauty is translated as the gracious favor of the Lord being upon us. Many translations use the term favor. One translation, the EHV says, let the kindness of the Lord God rest upon us. So God's beauty is God's kindness. Uh, it's his favor. It's his loving kindness. It's his goodness. It's his glory. When it rests upon you, God's kindness, God's loving kindness is, of course, his favor. So beauty is favor. Often in scripture, when someone was handsome, they were called well favored, beautiful. Beauty is being well favored. Uh, ex uh, as far as looking at something that's beautiful, it's a picture of favor. God's beauty is God's favor. So when we talk about beauty from ashes to beauty, we're talking about a, a change, um, a transfer, a formation from defeat, dust, ashes, which are not beautiful. Ashes and dust don't represent beauty. When they would put sackcloth and ashes upon themselves and repent because of sin and mourning, that was not a picture of beauty. Sackcloth is not a beautiful fabric. Okay, it's rough. It doesn't represent beauty. It represents sadness, mourning, repentance, sin. Uh, but to be transferred into beauty means that the favor of God comes on your life. That God moves you from having no favor to favor. There's a transfer of being unfavored to being favored. There's a transfer of not having kindness and grace manifesting in your life to God's gracious kindness and grace coming upon you. So pray that prayer, Psalms 90, 17. Write it down, memorize it. It's an amazing verse. Let the beauty of the Lord be upon me. That's my prayer today. Let the beauty of the Lord be upon you. And let the second part says, let God establish the work of your hands, which brings a connection between your work being established, your work being prosperous, and God's beauty and favor being upon you. When God's beauty and favor is on your life, your, your hands, the work of your hands, your business, your, your career, your affairs will be, your business affairs will be established. That's a, a verse about prosperity. So this favor, this beauty is also a picture of prosperity. It's a picture of abundance. It's a picture of success. This, these words all blend in with the word beauty, glory, and favor. I love studying words. Um, I love researching words. 
because words give you definition, words give you understanding. Remember Proverbs 4, 7, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding. Words help us understand certain things. God gives you certain words to give you an understanding. And these are spiritual truths that we're dealing with. So sometimes you need a variety of words because sometimes spiritual things are difficult to describe in the natural, with natural words. So God gives us unusual words. God gives us a multitude of words to describe a spiritual reality. Because when you think of beauty, you may think of something just looking good. But there's more to that word than just that. Uh, even the word shalom, which is the word peace. There's more to it than just having peace. It means well-being. It means wholeness. It means success. It means prosperity. So sometimes these words that we've translated from the uh, that have been translated from the Hebrew and Greek, um, they mean a lot more than just the surface meaning as you read it in English. This word beauty, glory, favor, success, prosperity, being established, uh, it represents kindness, grace. What an amazing thing that can be upon you. Let that be upon your life. Let it come upon your head. Let God give you beauty for ashes. Let God give you favor for ashes. Let God give you prosperity for ashes. Let God give you honor and promotion for ashes. Begin to confess that, Isaiah 61 and 3. And that has been our message. I'm going to be continuing that tomorrow um, and then Friday um, and also Saturday at Crusaders Church. And we're talking about favor for ashes, um, beauty for ashes, and handing out some more of the art pictures that we brought that many came. If you didn't make it, you can come this Saturday at 2 p.m. at 3821 South Michigan. Don't forget this book, Prayers That Unlock Favor. If you don't have it, get a copy, begin to confess, read, begin to understand the power of favor, begin to pray, begin to confess, begin to use your mouth to decree these things. And Isaiah, um, Job 22, 28 says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today as we continue our series on beauty uh, for ashes. Thank you for your seeds. Don't forget to sow it if you've not done so. A 111 seed and I continue to decree the Lord make you a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more based on Deuteronomy 1 and 11. I decree it. I speak it by faith over your life in Jesus name. Amen. Until tomorrow morning on Facebook, um, we'll see, see you again on the porch. But we're going to continue the uh, conversation uh, in Clubhouse. And in departing, as always, God bless you and double shalom. God bless.